Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gamble147K3 here. So, recently picked up Verdun for about $13 on the Xbox Live Game Marketplace. And, uh, like doing a little bit of research, wondering if this game is worth it. And, uh, seeing some questions, and I've got some questions, if this game is even worth it. So this is my review of, is Verdun worth it? Yes. Alright, there you go. Thank you. Please subscribe and, uh, stay tuned for more. No, but seriously though, this game is phenomenal. Uh, there's been a lot of comparisons between Battlefield 1 and Verdun, and easily I'd probably pick this game in a heartbeat. This is the classic and true, I guess, portrayal of World War 1 that I've seen in a very long time, especially because it's not a very touched upon time period. So for them to portray it so excellently is just mind-blowing to me. It's phenomenal, and I just can't express that enough. The game itself consists of a few game modes. This is uh, pretty much a strictly multiplayer game, except minus a uh, bot survival mode, uh, where one team is the attackers, one team is the defenders. Only for the beginning, however, uh, the defenders sit and defend their trench, because this is World War One, where you fought basically for trenches in the middle of no man's land. Um, if you're the attackers can successfully take their trench, the enemy trench, they must hold the trench for against the enemy counterattack. If they fail, the enemy takes back their trench, and now the attackers must play the defenders and go back to their home and defend their trench from the enemy counterattack. It's a pretty uh, awesome game of leapfrog almost, because you're hopping trench to trench while trying to defend yours and take out the enemy onslaught. In a game of 16 versus 16, uh, things can get pretty hectic pretty quickly if you couldn't tell from the video. Uh, there's constantly class switches as well uh, between riflemen, which basically that's a common class, is riflemen bolt action. But there are different classes, like your NCO, who's your commander, who can do things like call mortar strikes or tell your men to hold a specific point. Uh, mortar strikes can either consist of a few bombings, it can consist of gas attack or a recon plane if even. Um, hold the line just puts a giant arrow on the map telling your men to defend this point. If you guys, if your soldiers stay within your little circle, uh, they receive bonus points for completing objectives and um, yeah, I mean you also get the points as well. Their pistol is pretty good. Uh, you can upgrade them though so they can use rifles which is not that bad uh, considering. But you're a class on your feet basically when you're playing the NCO so keeping a pistol is pretty uh, pretty common and is recommended unless you want to really sit in camp. We'll take you around the different parts of the Verdun and World War One kind. It doesn't follow the entire timeline of World War One, just a small portion of it and a few different handfuls of maps. Uh, the common game mode that you're seeing is, uh, like I said, the trench warfare. There is like a free-for-all mode and team deathmatch, but this is what you play it for. The game itself looks gorgeous on the Unity engine. And it just feels like a World War One game as you attack the enemy trench while soldiers are pouring in and dying left and right. You die from at least a bullet or two depending if how good the enemy aim is. And just even right here you just see that we're pushing forward and now we're hopping over the trench and we're taking names. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's all bolt action and if you die, you died because the enemy just had more skill than you or they got a lucky shot. It's not because some asshole bought a DLC gun or because they're level 30 and they have a fucking machine gun. Nope, this game is based purely on skill and uh, luck, I guess you want to call it, just like in the real war. Different time as well, I mean, you've, sometimes you'll be fighting in the map Champagne and uh, fighting at night in the trenches, holding out against enemy onslaughts. The sound of the whistle freaks you out because you don't know who's blowing the whistle or what the order is that the enemy just called upon. Uh, picking between the different people, is, or your teammates versus the enemy, is a little difficult, but it's it's doable for sure. Um, I mean, I can go on and on and on about how amazing this game is and how I definitely would recommend this, especially if you have some friends. However, connecting to one another is a little difficult. But even if you're by yourself, you definitely feel like you're in World War One, and I mean, this is not a very touched upon time period. My only quarrel with the game is just, if the game is uneven, it doesn't force auto balance. Instead, what they'll do is they'll add a penalty, as you can see here, an unbalanced penalty to your spawn time and reduce your score if you're on the unbalanced team. And in the top left-hand corner, they'll just say, hey, can someone please switch over to the other team that's losing? 
And yeah, I don't know about you, but I don't want to switch to a losing team. Uh, if I'm winning and we're winning by a lot, I'm not switching over to the losing team and trying to make a comeback from the onslaught that I created. So if you're on the losing team, if let's say it's a 2v8, uh, yeah, no, you're not coming back. You're just going to lose. But if it's an even game, as you've been seeing, it's pretty amazing. As it just feels real, bolts are flying everywhere. The sound of the whistle is haunting. And when you see a, a fellow plane dropping gas or mortar shells on the enemy trench, you, it brings joy to your heart. Or when you turn around and you look around and you see your trench buddies all holding and taking different points of a trench and gunfires off in the distance, you feel almost at home. If I could recommend this game, I definitely would. If you're considering buying it, I think the price now is $19.99. It was $12.99, but went right back off sale. And hey, I hope to see you in the trenches.